Well, folks, it's Brian Howard from Remax House of Real Estate, and today we are here with Bernard Calvo for another episode of Living in Calgary, Living in Martin Loop. I am honored and privileged to be sitting with Mr. Calvo. Thank you for being on the show. You're very welcome. Thank you. So, Bernard, um, I always, I, I first heard your name in 1990, I was just telling you, a good friend of mine was studying culinary in uh, Vancouver, and I was in Vancouver at the time, and he insisted that we make chocolate chip cookies or something, and we had to have this chocolate from Calgary called um, Bernard Calvo Chocolate. That's the first time I've heard you, I've heard you a lot ever since, and here we are today in Master Chocolate. Tell me, Bernard, what motivated you to open Master Chocolate? Well, uh, as you know, I lost my old business in 19, in 2010, and ultimately, uh, you know, that's really my passion. And ultimately, out of bad things, good things come out of it. Mm -hmm. and you can't reinvent yourself. And uh, be it better. And that's really, uh, I found that very motivating. So that's what we are doing. I always make it better, like really operate on a higher standard than I did before. And uh, people appreciate it. And, and, uh, People have been following me, and I think one of the reasons is because they trust that I put my name behind it, that it's going to be of a good quality. Okay. So, I'm a little concerned about my sound quality here today. I'm bringing this closer to us. So it's about reinventing yourself. That's Master Char Ch Chocolate. And so, tell me a little bit about... Um, Okay, so it's um, your master chocolate. It's a bit of a reinvention. I think you've been over a couple of years, 2018? Uh, the the fact is 2015. 15, okay. We were operating out of a much smaller facility. And then, and then in 2018, you started the Marble Loop. Uh, Marble Loop, we opened the Marble Loop, and then uh, in, just a year ago, we moved to this facility for production. Uh, just south of Chinook Center. Oh, okay, the production right here, just south of Chinook Center. And it's a beautiful shot. Well, thank you. And uh, you're at a busy time right now. Uh, tell us a little bit about what customers love about the service you provide, or the food, the, the chocolate you provide. Well, the, the, you know, we are mainly all organic. We are 95% uh, organic. Uh, again, that's going back to the, to the quality and the people uh, that really like quality, they, 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 they come to us. And also uh, creating new products. Like this year, we do the chocolate bombs that is like very popular. The it's chocolate like, bombs, it's yeah. It's like a bar of chocolate with marshmallows in it, and you pour milk, hot milk over it, and then the marshmallows come out, pop out of the chocolate ball, and you have a hot chocolate too. Wow. So that's very popular this year. But ultimately, it's always uh, finding new things, improving that sort of continuous process. I educate myself all the time, I take courses, I read all the time. It's simply, uh, when you're truly passionate in what you do, you always want to go a step beyond, a step further, a step further, and it's, it's an ongoing, it never stops. It will stop when I'm in my graveyard. <laughs> I, I see that. And um, so Bernard, you're, you're a legend in Calgary, in Canada, oh, in the chocolate you. industry. Um, how has COVID-19 affected you and your businesses? And uh, what can we do to help? Well, thank you for uh, asking that question. Well, it was an unknown for everybody. So mid-March, we closed down all the locations. Uh, everybody was uh, laid off, including me. Uh, so and there was only one full-time person that was filling online orders. That was just before Easter. And then ultimately, we did kind of a special deal, like you could ship anywhere in Canada, uh, over forty dollars, it was for free. We probably lost our shirt on that, but, <laughs> but ultimately, we wanted to provide a service because everybody was in a difficult situation, so we wanted to do that, and that really has done worked very well. At the end, I had to start calling back one person, two people, three people, like part time, and then we opened end of May. We opened the retail locations again, and uh, we, we worked full time with all the staff. And, uh, but there is a change without a doubt, and it will stay for a long time. 
we definitely say way more online. Actually, online is the number one. Actually, number one online. That's yes, great. Yes, it is a huge, uh, a huge success. Uh, Surfside pickup and online sales are enormous. Awesome. And I think people like the convenience. I think it, a lot of people were still a little bit afraid of ordering online. Like you know, they are not, uh, you know, 100 percent. As now they were forced into it, and right. then ultimately we experienced that. Yes, the chocolate that I ordered come on my door. Right, it's great. <laughs> and I get the box you want because ultimately people can customize their order online. Mm -hmm. They can pick and choose the chocolate, and it works. And uh, so I think that's uh, gonna last for uh, forever, in my opinion. And simply, it's a convenience. So the retail world is gonna change. There is no doubt about it. That's awesome. But if you see like all the boxes around here, it's all boxes for shipping. Ready to go. Yeah. Super. And so what's the best way for people to reach out? I mean, online? What, what is the website? The, the website is masterchocolat.com. But still, uh, you know, don't be afraid to go to the store because it's still, uh, you know, the smell of the chocolate. It's and lovely. Look, you have two machines going. Uh, you can create your own chocolate bar there. We respect social distancing, uh, etc. So I think it's, it's still important to go and visit your local retailer. Uh, I think all the retailers in general are doing a very good job to make sure that everybody is safe. Excellent. Because I'm a shopper myself, and I go anyway. Uh, they, you know, everybody respects that. So, you know, at one point, I think people want the human contact. Right. You know, and I think that is never going to go away. Super. So I think once. Next year, when things settle, uh, it will gradually come back. But the online re shopping is not going to disappear. Oh, that's great. Okay, so masterchocolate.com, and we'll put yeah. a link to that. Your yeah. Instagram, obviously, I expect. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put a link on that as well. Well, any last request of our viewers or any last messages that our viewers might be interested in? Well, come and visit us. Uh, I know there's a shortage in the city for chocolate bombs, but we make uh, lots of them. We have. We keep we keep up the demand. Okay. So yeah, no, come and visit us. We, we serve uh, hot chocolate here in Madeloup too. Uh, like we can, uh, we make an old-fashioned uh, hot chocolate that is with milk and chocolate. We are not with cocoa with chocolate. And it's really delicious, so come and visit us. Okay, well, very good. Well, I am going to pick up a bunch of chocolate bombs for the Christmas stockings right now, and it's been a pleasure, and I look forward to You're keeping in touch and seeing you again. Well, thank you very much. Thank Wish you me. all the best thank in this busy holiday season, Bernard. Well, thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Thanks for having us on the show. Okay.